Hello. Now, we are looking at derivatives of the natural log of x, which we must know is either called log to the base e of x, or it could be called ln of x for the natural log of x. Both of these versions of the function can come up uh, in uh, the exam papers. And we have to know that both of them are equivalent and the same differentiation rule is going to apply to both. Now, just as when we deal with any algebra or more broad algebra questions involving logs, we must always know that we're opening up page 21 in our log tables. So we know that those are the tools that are going to be available to us. We're going to uh, use page 25 for our differentiation, as we usually do. And we remember that if we see anything to do with logs of any kind, we should have page 21 open in our log tables as well to see if there's anything that we can use to simplify our problems. Because simplifying your initial function is something that you must be comfortable with doing for all forms of differentiation. Now, the rule here is fairly um, straightforward. There isn't any big complicated substitutions of algebra. It's just if you have the natural log of edge, x, which again could be given to you as log to the base e of x as well. They both have the same derivative because they're the same function. It's just 1 all over x. You just flip what's inside the bracket upside down and uh, put it underneath. 1. Now, what happens in practice, because that's a fairly straightforward rule, is that uh, you have to apply it in the context of messier functions. So let's have a look at what we've got here. y is equal to the natural log of sine of x squared. So several layers of things going on here. Now there's no, there's no log rules that I can see here that are going to simplify my problem. If I had sine squared here, I could take that out as uh, log multiplied by 2. That's one of my log rules I know from page 21. But the squared here is inside the sine function. It's in the input of the sine function, so I can't take that power of 2 out because it isn't inside the log, it's inside the sine. So I need to be careful of that. But regardless, I don't have any simplification I can do, so let's just start doing our uh, derivatives. And in this case, it is fairly safe to just use implicit chain rule. You don't have to write this out explicitly, it would get very cumbersome to do so. So I treat the ln like it was just ln of x. So I treat this like it was just an x. It becomes something that's just sitting underneath the line. And then I go inside the uh, natural log and I need to differentiate the sine. And I know that that gives me cosine. And I treat that like it's just differentiating sine of x. So it just goes to cos of x squared. And then I go inside the sine function, and now I'm differentiating the x squared, and I get 2x. So again, we have the chain rule being applied multiple times, and we just chain, we multiply our different derivatives together. Uh, so when we do that, we end up with 2x cos x squared all over sine x squared. I'm just going to point this out to you. This would be a perfectly decent way to uh, leave this question. You'd get full marks for it. But in the exam, they might ask you for it in a specific form. So I'm just going to point out to you that this would be the same as 2x all over tan of x squared. Sine all over cosine is tan. So cosine all over sine would be 1 all over tan. Uh, and we have the same uh, input in both of them. So we're able to use our we'd be able to combine them to form tan. So that's our first derivative uh, example here. And the second one we've got going on in our top right-hand corner, y is equal to the ln of this. Now, this looks horrible. We'd have to end up doing explicit chain rule, I suppose, in here, because this derivative would get so complicated to do, because we have ln of a quotient. So we'd have to use the quotient rule inside of multiple chain rules, but hopefully we know our log rules well enough to see that we don't actually have to do that because we know that at the log of two things divided, 
would be the difference between them. Minus Now that is an awful lot more manageable. If we didn't keep our log rules in mind, that could be become really very unpleasant to have to work out mathematically. It would be a huge mess. But this is fairly manageable. So let's do our derivative now that we've done our simplification. So again, any time you see a log of any kind, open up page 21 and can I simplify what I've been given? Now that we've done that, we're just going to use implicit differentiation in both cases. So ln of the bracket is just going to be 1 all over the bracket. And then step inside the bracket and differentiate. Here, cos becomes minus sine. When we get the derivative of cosine, it's minus sine. Uh, and you could, in principle, step inside the bracket again and get at the derivative of x, but that's just one, so we don't tend to bother writing it. Now, we have, next step is minus derivative uh, ln of the e bracket is just going to be 1 all over the bracket. Derivative is just going to be 1 all over the bracket. Step inside the bracket and get the derivative. The minus 1 is just uh, 0, and we end up with 2x. And we end up with minus sine x all over cos x minus 2x all over x squared minus 1. And again, I recognize that if, uh, sine x over cos x I could write as minus tan x minus 2x all over x squared minus 1. I'm pointing this out to you for two reasons. One, it's good to constantly reinforce uh, the things that we know from different parts of the course. And also, they could ask you for your answer in terms of tan. They are perfectly entitled to do so, and it's a skill that we need to practice anyway. But this would be a perfectly valid way of giving your answer if they didn't ask you for it directly. Final reminder or for uh, today is that if this is a function and when we get dy dx, we are getting the slope of the tangent of the curve of this function uh, for different values of x. And always keep hold of that. That's what we're finding. And that's what we need for the derivatives of the natural log.